Welcome to another training session of the PLC programming. In today's session we will learn, how we can calculate time interval between two events, in the TIA portal. Let's suppose that we have a box on the conveyor, and this conveyor have two sensors installed at the start and end position, and we want to calculate the time, this box takes to travel from the sensor 1 to the sensor number 2. Sensor 1 is connected at the I0.0 .0 input, and the sensor 2 is connected at the I0.1 input of the PLC. Before starting today's session, I would request you guys to please subscribe my channel, and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos. First of all we will open the TIA portal software, and create a new project in it. Once the project is created, we will open the program block folder, and double click on the OB1. Next we will insert the normal open contact, and assign it the sensor as 0.0. Next we will insert the output coil, and assign it M20.0 bit, this will be the start timer bit. Next we will insert the normal open contact of the M20.0 bit in parallel with the sensor 1 bit I0.0, .0. this makes a hold on logic for the start timer bit. Now as the box comes in front of the sensor 1, this will latch on the start timer bit. Next we will insert the normal close contact of the I0.1 sensor, now as the box comes in front of the sensor 2, it will turn off the start timer bit M20.0. In the network 2 we will insert the start timer bit, and next we will insert the T on timer. Next we will insert 20 seconds, as the set point for this timer. Next we will assign the MD40 memory tag at the ET output of the timer, ET output will transfer the current value of the timer in the MD40 memory. In the network 3, we will insert the start timer M20.0 bit. Next we will insert the move instruction. At the in, input of the move instruction we will assign MD40 memory which contains the current timer value. At the ET, output of the move instruction we will assign MD50 memory. Now whenever the start timer bit turns on, move instruction will move, the current timer value from the MD40 to the MD50 memory. Now the programming is done, we will download this program in the PLC and monitor it. As you can see that, as the box comes in front of the sensor 1, the timer starts timing, and as the box comes in front of the sensor 2, the timer stops and current value of the timer get moved into the MD50 memory. Now let's see this once more, as the box comes in front of the sensor 1, the start timer bit M20.0 gets latched on. In the network 2, this start timer contact M20.0 closes and timer starts timing. In this network 3, Move instruction is moving the current value of the timer in the MD50 memory. As the box comes in front of the sensor 2, the timer stops and current value gets stored in the MD50. You can notice that, now the current value of the timer is 0, but the last timing cycle value is still stored in the memory MD50. That's the end of the today's tutorial, I hope you like it, do share like and subscribe to this channel. Till next time. Take care and goodbye.